Mine's already set up to where I just have to hit the button and then we automatically go into launch mode. Woo! today's video because well we're in the Hellcat and going to be putting about another 400 miles on this brand new car all right so you may be wondering what is going on well we are starting an early morning it is actually 7 30 right now and I have been on the road for probably about 20 to 30 minutes already so we're actually driving down from Salt Lake City to Green River Utah which if you've never been there just don't go I mean there's nothing to see there it's like a barren area of land where really probably 50 people live there but the reason I'm driving down there is because I'm very excited in today's video I'm gonna be meeting up with another fellow youtuber from Arizona some of you may already be following him but if you're not make sure you subscribe to his channel his name is fast Gato, and I'll put a link below and I'll put the handle down here at the bottom of the video but he has an amazingly crazy Hellcat with a beautiful wrap job and some awesome exhaust. So we're gonna check out that car today. And it just so happens that he's been driving home from Colorado because he had stuff to do in the area. And so I'm gonna kind of meet him halfway in a sense where I'm gonna meet him in Green River. He's driving from Colorado, stopping at Green River. So it's kind of a good central point. I am really excited because, you know, we've watched each other's videos online and we comment on each other. And, and you know, you never really get to meet the YouTubers that are out there, especially because he's in Arizona, I'm in Utah. But I think this is the perfect opportunity to just meet up chat get to know each other a little bit better and I can show off his amazing ride now at the time of filming this video nobody really on YouTube knows what car I have nobody knows about the hell raisin Hellcat and so he is not aware of what car I'm driving he knows that I bought a new car because I've thrown out hints on YouTube and Instagram but just like all of you out there at this point in time None of you know what car I actually got. A lot of you right now are actually suspecting a Hellcat, but not really sure whether it's a Challenger, Charger, Trackhawk. Some of you even mentioned Durango. So I'm really excited to see what his first reaction is because I don't know exactly what he's suspecting this car is gonna be. Currently, I'm at 687 miles on this car, which means I have more horsepower than mileage on this vehicle at the moment, which is pretty exciting. I'm hoping to get to that 1500 mile break-in period as quickly as possible so I could let this car loose. So that is another reason and why I'm okay driving another 400 miles in this brand new car. All right, without further ado, we're gonna be enjoying another two hour or so ride left to Green River. So make sure you sit back, get some popcorn, relax, and enjoy today's video. We'll catch you on the road. now officially has more miles than horsepower but it took a little bit longer than a lot of other cars out there that's for sure I have officially owned this car for less than one week it's only been six days and I've already hit 718 miles so it's definitely been a lot of miles in a very short time period but I have enjoyed every single second all right I'll stop chatting let's keep driving <music> So we are about 10 minutes away from Green River. 
I am super stoked to meet Fascato in person. Uh, we're just gonna shoot him a text right now, see where he's at. But the next clip should be uh, me meeting Fascato for the first time in person. So that should be pretty fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in Green River and I've got Fascato right over here. I'm not gonna point to it. I'll just wait one more second because I'm gonna do a cool little cinematic video of the just awesome Hellcat that he's got. He's got probably one of the coolest Hellcats on YouTube. So if you guys aren't subscribed to him already, you're definitely missing out. I'll put the name right down below and I'll put a link in the description. His name is Fasgato and it's the same on, I believe, Instagram as well. All platforms. On all platforms, Twitter, whatever you guys wanna find TikTok, him on. Snapchat, just an awesome guy. You guys have to uh, reach out to him and, and check out his channel because he has some awesome some content but without further ado let's check out this awesome Hellcat Challenger. All right, so we've got Mike here and his awesome Hellcat. Uh, how you doing, Mike? Where are you I'm doing great. Where are you from? Tell us the viewers. I live in Maricopa, Arizona. Gotcha. So, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I, I traveled to Colorado this weekend, and uh, my brother was getting married. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to him. You know, he, uh, he's got a great lady, he got great kids. Uh, it was about time, honestly. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, I figured I'd seize the opportunity and uh, reach out to Swayze here and let him know we've kind of been talking back and forth. Um, about this road trip and and uh, meeting up and you know he's he's had some things on the back burner here you know about the uh, super secret car he's had coming out which is uh, over there you know <laughs> that uh, I'm still in shock and awe <laughs> honestly like as soon as I pulled up I was like that's got to be this car <laughs> like the color on that thing that's that's a one of one right now because it's the only one I've seen oh man so that thing is awesome I'm not gonna lie your uh, Hellcat definitely helped uh, inspire that decision too because you know seeing all the videos you make and that the, the sounds you do and the route ride-alongs and the yeah. people's expressions yeah I it's, was like I gotta have one man I think I even commented on one yeah. of your videos it's so new like, you know what like if, after you drive these cars like you get used to it right yeah like it's not really like it's fast but it's not fast to you anymore you know what I mean true, so yeah. taking somebody in the car that hasn't experienced that like it makes me relive that moment like the first time I got in there and like my face when I drove it you know which is I probably made some silly faces at some point in here but <laughs> getting people's faces like that first time you hit the gas and it puts them back in the seat you know they're, they're just like oh my gosh will you drive this every day and I'm like what what are you talking about this is normal you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, you kind of get uh, numb to the feeling so tell me what uh, what have you done to the ride I mean obviously this beautiful wrap um, I mean, I, I love how it looks. You got to see it in person because I think on video it's not as nice as it is uh, in real life. Um, you probably get a lot of looks yeah, on this car. I, I kind of, you know, this this car's original color is uh, billet silver. Um, anybody, you know, my to to see the older colors, uh, you'd have to go back to Instagram because it was pretty much this color after I wrapped it. That was kind of the the push that I kind of got from everybody to start the channel because I was mm -hmm. like, you know what, I'm already doing this stuff to the car anyway. I might as well record it you know and it was kind of this car has been a vessel for me and my family uh to be able to do stuff to the car together uh, my kids do stuff to cars and it kind of gives us something to do yeah and, uh, i mean obviously besides the wrap like what you're talking about uh i do have the three-piece lexani wheels on here uh they're 11 in the rear nine and a half in the front um obviously we go through a lot of tires on these cars you're going to find that out <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a, a big surprise when I see the bill for those new tires. Uh, I do have a K&N uh, air filter. Uh, I just did the drop-in. I did have a lake maker on here, uh, okay. but I went back and forth on the dyno. And I know a lot of people aren't going to want to hear this, but the factory air intake with a K&N drop-in, my intake cooler temperature runs 12 degrees cooler 
than with a full cold air intake. Really? Yes. And anybody who has a supercharger knows about heat soak. It's all about air temperature that goes into the supercharger. So for the $60 you can spend to go buy a K&N, which is still the last filter you have to buy, you just clean it and you drop it in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Unless you go full cold air, you know, I'm, I don't have anything against them. Some people like them. They do make the supercharger whine louder with those type oh, really? of air intakes. But me personally, I, I always weigh what I'm spending to how much horsepower I'm getting. You know what I mean? Because I try to get the most bang for the buck. For sure. So I, I just went back with the drop in. I sold the leg maker. I do have a trans tune on this car. I have changed the PCM. You cannot, contrary to believe, either you have to send your PCM and have it erased so that you can tune it, or you have to buy another PCM. Uh -huh. And these type of cars, Dodge has these PCMs locked and you can't get into them. Wow. So I recommend just buying another one. I went with the Diablo. Uh, you know, it's a little more expensive, but keep your factory PCM that way you always have that to put back in here that's him that's really good information because i have no idea on this hellcat yeah. i knew a lot about the scat pack hellcat i have no idea about right. so for anybody on here that's interested and has a hellcat or wants to upgrade this is some really important information for all you that are trying to upgrade to it uh, obviously like we talked about with your car you know you've, you've only had this a week so i know your wheels are turning on what you want to do but obviously you have to go with the window tint you know you got to keep that air, that, 100%. that uh, usa sun from uh, cooking you while you're yeah. driving around because it's like being in a fishbowl and <laughs> yeah, you don't have window tint <laughs> And then uh, obviously the mid muffler delete. Uh, this is three inch exhaust back. I did keep the resonators. A lot of people also, if you're gonna cut your exhaust off, if you don't mind the drone, go ahead and cut them off because it will make your car louder, but yeah. my car's loud. I, yeah, I wanna actually turn it up and uh, you're not gonna catch it on camera, but let's let's hear what it sounds yeah. like because that sounds amazing. I'm glad you kept the resonators. It just makes it you know, easier. I, I drive like these road trips and I drive a lot and, and the drone, so it's always at that like, 1500 to 2000 range and right. you just get that whoa, whoa, whoa in the cab the whole time and it, it drives horrible. me nuts it I, gives me a headache that was one fear i had with the muffler delete i got the dynamax on my old one um but even if you do a muffler delete, you avoid that sound and if you do resonators you got to deal with it it's just it's unfortunate but let's see what this thing sounds like I have no mercy about starting this thing. You know what I mean? I'm like, hey man, if you want to live in the 55 and older community, it's that way. Yeah, yeah. You got to move out. Well, that's okay. One tangent. That's always my complaint with these cars and coffees and car shows. Why are they always so damn early? Like, why can't they make them you at know, nine o'clock? I think it revolves around the coffee aspect of it. Okay. Who wants to drink coffee at five o'clock in the afternoon? I, I still do, actually. Yeah. Well, I'm one of those crazies. Just, I've been to a lot of them and. It, it all depends, you know, on kind of what your car scene is. Because yeah. I do a lot of night shows, a lot of car meets, a lot of different things. And I find that at the Cars and Coffees, a lot more of the exotics come out in the mornings mm, got it. at those Cars and Coffee events. So it, it gives you kind of a new look on getting to see new cars instead of the, the same people that come out to all the night events. That's a good point. Uh, here in Utah, you know, I, I've gone to, gone to some of the cars and coffees in the mornings, and you don't, I don't think you have as big of a car scene. I mean, the videos that you've posted of the, the car scene in Arizona, it seems amazingly big. Like There's 9 million people in, in Phoenix. So, I mean, there's there's a lot of cars there, and it's it's honestly, like even even meeting here, you're, you're in the car scene, and like I always say, there's no fam like car fam. Like yeah. the, the car community people that I meet are some of the nicest people like I can call up my car buddies and be like, hey man, I got this, you want to come over and help me? And they're like, yeah, I'll be there. Let's do it. And it's the same, you know, it's, I enjoy going and helping people achieve their goals and their builds and like helping them tinker with stuff. And I like tinkering with stuff. And I know you like tinkering with stuff because you're always doing, coming up with new ideas and, and, I think you pioneer a lot of stuff on these cars. I'm oh, thanks, honest. man. You, know, I, like, you come up with little things. I'm like, you know what? I, I didn't think about that. Th I, I will not take credit for that, but I appreciate it, no, though. You Thank do, you. Man. I think, Thank you. Know, you. I, I always see it on your channel first, and then when I see it on somebody else's, I'm like, that guy copied Swayze. <laughs> thanks, man. I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, there's lots of awesome content out there. That finished off, I guess, the exterior in terms of mods and all the stuff, right? 
Um, yeah, I mean, Am I missing tire anything? sticker, shout out to... Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah that's right. Shout out a few people here. I mean, if you're going to video the car, might as well. I got to mm. shout out a few people. Might as well. Let's do so, it. So, uh, you know, my tire letters, uh, I'm all about keeping money local where I can. So, mm -hmm. Juan, uh, Precision AZ Wraps. If you're ever in Arizona and uh, you need some... Uh, he does wrap work. He does tire letters. Um, he does custom decals. Full com Like, he can... If you want... If you go there and say, hey, Juan... Uh, I want a big unicorn on the side of my car in a wrap. He's got a huge machine in his in his shop there, and he'll print it out, and you'll have a unicorn on the side of your car. Put put a uh, comment uh, below if I should put a giant unicorn on the new Hellcat. Uh, I'll do it if I get enough likes. It'll have to be the Helicorn. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the name for it, the Helicorn. Make hey, it. Speaking of that, I, I mean, have you thought of any names yet for the car? I was actually going to ask people for advice, so I always yeah. called the uh, Scout Pack the Destroyer because it was Destroyer right. Gray. Not very original on my end, but uh, I don't really know. It's a hell raising color, but I'm I don't know the name. I was going to ask people to throw up some uh, I'm, thoughts. You going to throw the first one out? Do there? it. I like. A, I, I just came to me. My, my wheels are already turning. Right. Do it. Raising hell. I think that's a good name. Raising uh, hell. I don't know. Throw it down. You guys put down in his comments what you think. You know, he's. I know he's. He's gonna have an original name. I'm sure. It, I'll probably it's just. All about the license plate for me. I had I, whatever name I picked. I had to make sure I was able to incorporate it into my plate. That's right. Well, I got the uh, license plate quarter mile on my scat pack right now. Yes. I'm gonna probably transfer it over once yeah. I saw that one. I just like that one. But uh, yeah, I, I, I like that name. Raising hell. That's a good one. Oh, this interior is nice. How many miles you got on it right now? Um, I just hit 21,000. 21, okay, not bad. No, not for almost being five years old. Not at all, yeah, that's in great shape. Ooh, I love that interior, the red. Yeah, that's a that's a little tidbit there, uh, you know, uh, Amazon. Yeah. It sucks. I've seen those, yeah, those look really nice in person. Kind of break it up a little bit, you know? I like it. I like the little cubes on the dash, <laughs> they're nice. Oh, you gotta have the red fuzzy dice. With you the, gotta the, have, the yeah. Challenger looks. <laughs> Keep in mind, he's on a road trip right now, so if it looks... Yeah, don't be judging. Yeah, no no judging on the channel, all right? I challenge all of you to keep a car this clean on a road trip. I mean, you've got probably one of the cleanest cars ever on YouTube. In person, I, I can I can I just... I appreciate that, I do. I, I try to keep it clean. I'm very adamant because I never know when I'm going to meet somebody for the first time. And that kind of goes back to the, to the old saying, right? You never get a second chance to make a first impression, right? For sure. And like... Even pulling up to the gas station this morning, like I hadn't, I didn't even see you yet, and I seen the car sitting at the pump, and I'm like, uh, "That's a wide body Challenger Hellcat, and it's super clean. That's a, that's Swayze's car over there. Let's stop right Thanks, here." Man. <laughs> I, I wish I could get my clean, even though it's like brand new and it should be super clean. Yours is cleaner than Ooh. mine is, so it's. Uh, I you know, appreciate that. You know, it's a. Uh, I, I think it goes back to the investment. You know what I mean? Part of it, like I take a lot of pride in this car. Um, you know, and I tell people all the time, like my my dream car is not a Lamborghini, it's not a Bentley. It's like this is my dream car. You know what I mean? And, and uh, blood, sweat, and tears, like I always say. You know what I mean? Like I, I work my butt off for this car, and uh, I take a lot of pride in it. You know what I mean? And I, I try to pass that on to my kids and people that I run into because it, it, whether whether your car depreciates or not, it's an investment. It is. And if you don't take care of your investment, then it's not going to grow. True. Right. Well, Ab, that brings up kind of the next question I have is, tell us about what got you into this car, why Hellcat, and what was your story? What 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 got you to this point? Well, I mean, obviously growing up, you know, uh, I was a Dukes of Hazard fan, right? So, you know, the General Lee, like I always loved that Dodge body style, even though that was a Charger back in the day. Yeah. You know, it was, it was the closest body style to like what, what this is until the Challenger started coming out. And... There were some YouTubers that I used to watch, you know, I mean, we talk about it and it's kind of cliche, but it, you know, me and my family watched Tall Guy Car Reviews. Yeah, for And sure. honestly, you know, he pioneered a lot of the of the Challenger Hellcat fuel for a lot of people. And, and I was kind of one of them, even though I was older than him, you know, I, I wasn't at a point in my life to where uh, I could afford that goal. I have a big family, you know, I got kids and we had other priorities and family stuff going on, you know, and it, yeah. it's just like, I had, it kind of burnt that imprint into my mind though, like, I'm gonna have one of those cars one of these days. And the first one I got was not a Hellcat. I got a 2014 uh, RT Classic. It was billet silver. Um, you know, I did a lot of work to that car. I, I loved it. It was a 5.7, you know, it was, I used to watch, you got a Hemi commercials all the time, you know what I mean? And I was like, so I finally got the Hemi and I was super excited, like I loved that car. And unfortunately, you know, I. Uh, 
got in an accident, you know, kid pulled out in front of me and the car ended up totaling. And then, although I was really upset about it, it just kind of manifested, like, gave me the push to decide that this, is, this was going to be the next step. It's kind of funny how life sometimes pushes you in a way that you think is worse or right. in a bad direction. Mm -hmm. And then it, it's a complete 180. It does. Uh, sure. And it's it's happened so many times in life right. that you're just like, maybe. You may not understand it right now. Exactly. But yep. yeah. somewhere in your cards, yep. that, that, that's the direction that it, you're going to head. You know? For sure. Yeah. It's insane how life works that way. Yeah. And I mean, I, I have no regrets. Like, uh, I honestly believe that all the trials and tribulations that I've been through that have led up to this point, but if I wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't be where I'm at. You for sure. I mean? And that makes yeah. you the person that you are. 100%. And you know, Mike, what I love about you and your channel um, and, and why I always watch the videos, it's not just to, to support, but it's your channel really, uh, it just it just pushes positivity. And I think there's not enough positivity uh, on YouTube or just in life in general. And you're never judgmental. You never, you know, if somebody has a, a car that. that's, yeah, not I even. Try, I try to do that. You yeah, know you I mean? always. And it's not really trying for me. I just think that it's, everything is contagious, I guess I would say. Like if I come out and I be negative about stuff and I talk bad about people or, you know, I'm nice to you and then I we leave and I'm like, oh, that guy, I don't like that guy. Like that. Negativity breeds negativity yeah. and positivity breeds positivity, right? Yeah, and, I, and that's a lot of the reason why I watch your channel too, man Like you Thanks, man. you're always like upbeat and like you you know, you, you always have value you bring value to people and I, I love that about your channel the same reason why I watch it I, I watch it to support but I also watch it because you know, you you always have you're always bringing something to the table. You know, you're not like, oh, I went to McDonald's and got a cheeseburger today, and now you're gonna watch me eat. Hey, it. we'll see midwinter you know I mean? when I can't drive that car. That may be the content that you're seeing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you never know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. At least, at least, uh, maybe it'll be a value menu, so you're still yeah. bringing value to the table, right? Exactly. Yeah. No, I really appreciate it, man, and keep doing what you're doing. I, I think no, you are making a that. change to a lot of people's lives, even unknowingly. Uh, you're always positive, and I think the people that drive in your car really have, have mad respect for you because they know you have mad respect for if them. If you're ever in so. Arizona, doesn't matter where you're from, hit me up. I always respond. I always read the comments, whether it's on a YouTube video, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. Like whatever whatever your flavor is, if, if you're in Arizona and you want to ride in a Hellcat and I'm available, Hit me up. There you have it, folks. There you have it. We're going to get in front of this guy right here. Whoa. That sounds awesome, man. I got to get me a, a muffler to lead. <laughs> <laughs> you said you've owned this car for about two years? A little over two years now, yeah. Two years. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this, this car basically sat in somebody's garage for the first two years of its life. It had uh, 1,900 miles on it when I bought it. That's crazy. It's brand so new. So it's just a garage queen for that guy. Yeah. And uh, you know, like we talk about, I can't see having this kind of car and not being able to enjoy it. You yeah. Know? Whoa! Okay, that is that is quick. I am. I can't wait to do that in mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Smile, smiles for Gallon, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Passenger seat, like, it's so much more fun. Yeah. A driver, you know what you're doing, but right. passenger, it's like, it's a rocket ship. I mean, it's, man, it's crazy. And, like, in these cars, so, like, we're, we're doing 65 right now, right? So, you do a 65 bull. Oh, my God. So you're is... 65 to 100 in, like, you know, two seconds. That's crazy, man. That's. So this shifts a lot harder. So like if I go into track mode here, so with this trans tune, it's it's a lot harder shift, and it, it will actually hold. Um, you know your normal shift point on this car is probably 5600, uh -huh. so it will actually hold it to almost 59, oh, 6000. Wow. So you get that wow. little bit of extra mm, when that, it kind of goes in, you know. Woo. Gotta get that handle going. <laughs> I may need to go change my pants real quick <laughs> when I drive home, but uh, <laughs> I think I'll make a pit stop at the gas station, get myself yeah. some diapers. But oh, it's intoxicating. Hey, you have nothing but you have nothing but uh, good things to look forward to. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm, you got me now. Okay, so the bad part is now I'm gonna be driving home for three hours, and right. I'm, it's gonna be very hard for me not to do that to my car yeah. right now. One thing with this car that I, that I would recommend with you owning one now is you know these cars run zero forty. Pins oil, platinum, uh -huh. 
stick with the factory oil. Okay. Like at my other, I was a, I was an avid Royal Purple user, race oil. Uh -huh. Warranty purposes and stuff like that, always have the dealership do your oil change. Right. Just so you have that service record. Right. And then number two, they say you can go 7,500 miles on an oil change. Don't do that. Okay. Change your oil every 3,000. 3,000? Because okay. my thing is with these cars, like, I'm, like I have 22,000 miles on this car now. Right. So with these cars, you are not driving these cars easy all the time. It's true. Like yeah. the, you buy these cars to drive, um, you're getting on them, you're at high RPMs, and the viscosity of oil breaks down under pressure. Right. You know what I mean? Heat soak, heat temp. You live in a cooler area, so I mean, you can, if you had to go 4,000, you know what I mean? But the biggest thing I see is just like, your clean oil is your engine's number one adversary. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I always tell people like, change your oil, man. That's like the, and it's, if you go to the dealer and get it done, it's like $90. Yeah, it's not that you bad. I mean? Like now, it's, this, it's, you would think it would be crazy because this thing holds like 10 quarts of oil or something crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, I remember when I first took my scat pack in, I was thinking it was going to be pretty expensive. Uh, and they sold me like a, for 180 bucks, they gave me three, a package of three. And they said all SRT vehicles are the same price. These cars come with launch mode. Uh -huh. Right. So. I have mine set, you know, with, with the, some of the tuning that I've done. So mine set at about 1700. Okay. Now granted, I don't have Neato triple fives on here right now or drag tires. So you are going to get some slippage. Okay. But mine, mine's already set up to where I just have to hit the button and then we automatically go into launch mode. Woo! And you can feel the hard shift, right? What I'm talking oh, about with so the transmission. Hard. Yeah. So Damn. it makes a big difference having a couple extra hundred RPMs. Well, uh, <laughs> I had my entertainment for the month, so that. Uh, like now, you, when I say oh. you're getting a ride along, you're getting a ride along. Yeah, no, you. Know you what I'm like he said earlier, if you yeah. guys want to reach out to him, he'll give you the ride along of your life. That's, yeah. man, that is an amazing. It's only rubber. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm like. Kids are the worst, man. You bring some kids around, and they, the kids can talk me into doing donuts, burnouts, oh, whatever. I'm, I'm all about the kids. <laughs> I love fuel. They think this is a Hot Wheels car. Yeah, well, it looks like it. Yeah, they uh, love it. Well, talk about, you mentioned earlier about the tires. Talk about the tires on this car. So, depending on, you know, what you plan on doing, like, uh, you know, I have just my regular, I call these my show and shines, traveling around. Um, you know, they're not, they're not the most expensive tires you can buy. But as you can see, I burn a lot of them off. Uh, and I go through a set of rear tires about every two months in this car. So, you know, tire tire expenditure is gonna be a big part of your life now. So I go through about three sets on the back to one set on the front. And, uh, you know, always check the dates on your tires. That's a big one right. because you don't want, you know, these cars do travel high speeds and you don't yeah. wanna take a chance on having bad tires on here. But if you do plan on every day, you know, you might, Pull up to a Mustang at a light somewhere, and every, you're not gonna let a Mustang beat your Dodge. Nope. <laughs> so you want to have some good Neato Triple Fives on there. Those are okay. a good everyday tire. Okay. Um, you know, with these 20-inch wheels, you're only gonna get so much traction. And then, you know, obviously, you know, when you start going to the track, and you know, you want to go up to that next level, then you know, you drop down to an 18-inch tire, and uh, that's about as small as you can go on this car without having to start modifying stuff. Okay. Yeah, tires are made, what make and break the acceleration. I mean, I think the reason I'm not able to get that great acceleration in the scat pack was because of tires. Uh, yes. And just because they're wide, because I had 315s in the scat pack, that sometimes go, goes against you depending on what size of rim you're running. Uh, yes. And so 315s are great, but if you're running what, like what I had, which was the stock nine inch wheel, I think I was losing some of that traction. And air pressure. Like and air pressure Simple too. things. Like, so if you run your tires at 35 pounds yeah. and you're like, my tires are slipping too much. I don't like these. My zero to 60 times sucks. Yeah. Take five pounds of air out of your tire. There you go. And then run it again. And you, like, you'll be surprised. Like you can shave three tenths of a second off of your zero to 60 time wow. by taking five pounds of air out of your tire. 
There you have it, folks. If you don't know anything about Dodge or Mopars or anything, you guys have to follow his channel. He obviously knows exactly what he's doing. He's had this car for over two years. He knows everything there needs to be known about a Hellcat. So check out his channel if this isn't that. enough uh, convincing for you that I don't know what is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I sure had a blast hanging out with Mike. Uh, it's finally fun to see uh, a name to a face in the way, even though yeah. we've seen each other on YouTube. It's yeah. different, right? For sure. Uh, and I really appreciate you guys checking out today's video. It's been super fun and uh, I never thought I'd be able to meet another YouTuber, especially in Utah of all places. So right. uh, thank you for driving out here. Um, yeah, you too, man. You, you made the hike too. We met in the not, middle. Not too bad. Not as yeah. bad as yours, that's for sure. Man, I look at I was already driving. You know that's, what I mean? Yeah. So if I got to go a little bit out of my way, it was it was, it was was worth it. I Smiles appreciate that, gallon. man. I pre Make what? sure you check out his channel. Fast Gato, uh, like, like we said, I mean, obviously you saw the Fast Gato TV tire stickers, but check out his other social media platforms as well. Like, comment, subscribe, go back, watch the old videos. You can kind of exactly. see what led up to this point. And uh, while you're watching my videos, make sure you go back and to Swayze's videos. And if <laughs> this is your first video watching, subscribe to his channel. And, and, and if you haven't, go back and watch his journey too, because Thank it's you. a great journey. You I should have I mean? you on the outro of every video now, because <laughs> you're way more convincing than I am. But thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you at the next video. Take care, stay Swayze, have a wonderful day.